What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon 11970 and as always, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. All right, um, this is going to be definitely for my subscribers. This is going to be a video that's going to prove my point of the previous video I made. Now, if you watch the majority of my videos, the view counts probably average between 500 to 2,000 anywhere in that general area. Of course, I have some that have a lot less, and I have some that have a lot more than that. But on average, about that. Let's just say 600 average. I want people to view the view count for this particular video, because I did this on purpose. I want to see, well, actually show people, just by using that fear porn title that you saw, how many people will be drawn to this video by title alone? They may not know who I am. They don't know what the topic is about because it's a very generic type of title. But when you start watching the view count, and you probably won't notice the view count for at least a couple of hours because we know how YouTube loves to hide the numbers so it probably take, honestly, about 24 hours to see how many people have actually started to view this. And, of course, they'll still hide the numbers from the majority of people. So I will label what it is at some point tomorrow. But I want people to see that it's the drama. It's the fear porn. It's that I got to know what that means. It draws people in of how many people almost get suckered into it. And there are some people that are just gullible. There are some people that are naive. There are some people who are overly trusting. There are some people that are just looking for answers and they think this might be a way to, to find it by looking at those kind of fantastic kind of titles. And when you notice how many more people will be commenting and how angry they're going to be, and I don't care because this is about teaching the people who want to care lessons on how to think about life. They may look at like videos like Alex Jones and all these other fear porn type of channels where you'll see title after title of death and destruction. I mean, when is enough enough about this? I mean, look what happened before 2012. From 2011 to 2012, it was meteors are coming to get us, Nirabu is coming to get us, the Mayan calendar is going to ex uh, expire and we're all going to die. There were priests predicting, predicting the end of the world, not once in the same year, but t at least twice. And there are millions of people who follow this stuff. That's a dangerous way to live your life. It will lead you to be bitter and angry. And you'll probably notice that by some of the comments, even not just on this video, and they're just the majority of my videos, especially the recent ones, there's a lot of judgment, a lot of nasty things some people say with no courtesy or respect for the person on the other side. A lot of assumptions, too. So you're going to see this, and... We only have ourselves to blame because I stay away from all of those videos. I don't watch the the asteroids are coming to kill us and there's an alien race that's lizards and they're coming to kill us. Now, I'm not saying these things are impossible and I'm not saying they can't happen. But I'm not going to spend my whole life looking over my shoulder saying, oh my God, what's going to kill me next? But the people, on average, for some reason love that and you'll see that with the amount of comments you'll see and the amount of views you'll see within a day or two so i'm putting a very fantastic title on here and some people are going to say oh you just wasted my time and you know there goes five or six minutes of my life you know the the usual you know silliness that people come up with but my subscribers know that i'm here to try and teach you things and my subscribers are here because they appreciate that. And anything that can make you think twice about evil or the way they can lure you in, it's nothing but a sales pitch for some of these people. It's just something that you may take for granted or you just might not notice. 
until somebody points it out to you. And if I have to be that person, if I help one person, I did my job. And that's why you see on my main, on my main page, it says, helping to unite the planet one person at a time. I know realistically I'm not going to save millions. I'm fine with that. If I save one, I've done my job. And according to emails that I've gotten from people over the years and comments I've gotten from people over the years, I've helped a lot of people. Some you just can't save. Some you don't want to waste the time saving. Some will make comments regardless of what you say and they'll have their opinions about you. Some people love drama. Some people love sensationalism. And you'll see it in this particular video. And that's why you will never see a video like this again as far as like with those kind of titles. But I can guarantee you, it piqued people's curiosity enough to at least click on it. They may not have watched this far. They may have gotten pissed off about it and did the old I can't stand you or I'm going to unsubscribe or whatever. But it brought them here. And the thing they have to ask themselves is what is it about that fear and that allure of death and destruction that brings people curiosity to a different level because when i talk about truth when i talk about like organic toothpastes and i talk about government um laws and legal definitions it doesn't really draw that much of a crowd and i could easily get more people to my channel if i stoop to those other people's levels i just won't do it so if you appreciate this Put in the comment section, thank you so much for this information. You just saved my life. Everybody else, if you want to be angry, that's that's a choice in life. If you want to be afraid, it's a choice in life. But if you want to spend your whole life being angry and afraid, always looking over your shoulder, wondering what's going to destroy you next, that's a hell of a way to live. And you have only yourself to blame. To everybody else... Thanks for watching. Don't give up hope. And uh, let's try and be good to one another, even if it's for a second. Thanks for watching. Peace.